This is going to be a video for a level 1 strategy for Smorg in Paper Mario the Thousand Midori. This boss, like the last one for Macho Greva, will be only using level 1 stats, so 10 HP, 5 FP, 3 BP. It'll also only be using unranked partners. And uh, once again, this strategy will be using no super guards and no life shrooms. The one item we need for this strategy is a Thunder Rage. And the badges we'll be using today are Power Rush, Mega Rush, and Mega Rush P. Peekaboo is also optional once again uh, to see enemy HP. Uh, the thing that I like, that I think that I really like about this strategy is that um, there are four different ways that the fight can play out. Um, they're slightly different from one another. And yeah, and I'm going to be save stating throughout the battle so I can show each of these off differently. Um, but first we'll play through the fight once and see what happens. Alright, so the first thing we do in this fight is we jump on one of these to take it out. And then with Yoshi, Yoshi can't really do much, his ground pound, since, they, since the tentacles have one defense, his ground pound can't take them out. Gold also doesn't do anything in this fight. And we need to save our Thunder Rage for a little bit later, so Yoshi can just appeal. It is random which uh, opponent or which party member Smog attacks. And in this one, he chose to attack Mario first and then Yoshi. It doesn't matter the order, but it does matter who gets attacked. Now, in this scenario, um, what we want to do is just uh, attack one of them again and appeal again. So this time we're going to get attacked by one of these attacks, and we need to guard this one. So that now one of our partners, either Mario or Yoshi, is in peril. So now that we've done that, um, with, with Mario we can just jump on the tentacle, the last one. And then Yoshi can ground pound on the spark for massive damage. Once again, Yoshi can ground pound in this one for another 18 damage. And then to finish off the battle, Mario can use a spring jump. Let's hope I don't mess up the timing. And there we go. That defeats him. Let's rewind the fight a little. So this is the turn uh, where we, bo we got hit both times. Or both partners got attacked once, I should say. So we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to hope this time uh, Mario gets attacked, because we want to see what happens when that happens. And we also need to guard the attack, so bear with me for a moment. I missed it again. There we go. Uh, uh, when it attacks the front partner, it's a bit tricky to time. Alright, and since Yoshi isn't able to deal damage, Yoshi needs to use the Thunder Rage to take out the remaining Smorg Tentacle. And Mario is able to Spring Jump for 23 damage. Mario is able to Spring Jump again for 23 damage. And 
know if she's able to ground pound, since we have no power rush enabled, it just does exactly one damage per hit for four damage total, giving us perfect damage against Mork. This is one of the two uh, desired outcomes, if you will, um, as getting perfect damage is definitely preferable. So let's rewind one more time, this time back to the beginning of the fight. Uh, and you want to jump on the Swank again, just like we did before. And appeal with Yoshi. And this time we want to have um, one of the Swarms attack Mario or her partner twice. If it doesn't happen, we'll just reset. Sweet. Alright, so now we have Yoshi in peril. Now since we need to defeat both of the remaining tentacles to actually deal damage, uh, Mario needs to use the Thunder Rage in this case. You could also use Earth, or Earth Tremor if you wanted to. But much like before, now we can Ground Pound. Now we have a problem. If we were to use Spring Jump right now, um, it would only deal uh, 12 damage, um, as Mario was not in danger. Mario being in danger before was actually very important. We could still use it, and Smorg would only have 2 HP remaining, um, and it would still be doable to take out Smorg by ourselves, but it wouldn't be very fast. It would take an extra turn or two. So instead, we can swap out to Kumbella, and now Smorg is going to pull out the Pincer attack. And we need to guard this. Now, uh, Kumbella can attack the Smorg Miasma. And now Mario can just do a regular jump against uh, the main smart body. And once again, we've done it perfectly. Well, not perfectly in that instance, but I'll be able to take him out um, in just four turns. Alright, one more time from the beginning. We're gonna jump on the smart tentacle. And I'm gonna save state right before the attack start. Um, so they go for Mario. Yeah. Bear with me, <laughs> getting the correct RNG for this. Just kind of trial and error until it happens. And also, just like before, I want to let the first attack hit and then guard it. That one went for Mari, or went for the partner again, so it worked. Come on. This is why we leave ourselves with many different options. If I was trying to rely on attacking Mario every time, we would be in trouble. But this is just the remaining option, and one of the options that I like the best. There we go. So now that Mario's been attacked twice on the first turn, we can use another Thunder Rage. And much like the before case, we can use Spin Jump, and then a Ground Pound. finish him off in exactly 50 damage. The two outcomes with Peril Mario are functionally quite the same, but one of them does take an extra turn to get Mario into Peril. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little strategy showcase, and uh, be sure to look out for more as they come up.